use any of them? Yeah. Or am I supposed to use the standing one? You can do whatever you want. It's all yours. Check it out, it's live. So nice of you all to meet me at the LC. Um, I'm Jason Liebrecht, obviously. Um, I don't know all of your names yet. There's, there's not that many of you. Does anybody have any questions for me? Because technically this is a Q&A. It's a question and answer. Uh, if I have the answer, I will readily give it to you. Yes, sir? Madam? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. It's all right. How long have you been in the business? Oh, geez. I I'm really old. Let me tell you. Uh, over a decade, for certain. Uh, you want to know exactly? Mm -hmm. you think? <laughs> My first anime work was with ADV uh, in the Get Backers. Yes. I placed a gentleman for the second chunk of that, I think episode seven, maybe? I think it was. Um, and that was, that was a long time ago. Over 10 years ago, I'm sorry, I, I don't remember what year that was. I should probably do some research before I come to a Q&A. <laughs> I do have some answers, I assure you. Uh, yes, sir. What did you uh, enjoy doing better, Mordecai and Borderlands or uh, Train? I would say Mordecai and Borderlands. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You know, he's, he's a little intoxicated. Um, he's got a pet. Or had a pet. <laughs> I mean, he gets a new pet. Um, that's also the first game that I was in that I really enjoyed playing. I think it's eminently playable. Uh, not necessarily, I have a six-year-old, it's not necessarily appropriate for a six-year-old to view. Uh, up until that point, I had a rule that my son could watch anything that I was in, uh, and that has changed. <laughs> you know, your son's head being blown off, and that was not, uh, my lady didn't really dig that. Yes, sir? Um, when you did AMC for Smite, um, did you actually do the voice for him, or did they electronically, like, change it? No, I did the voice for him. Okay. Oh. I knew the answer to that one. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, yeah? Do you have a question? When you did the Moana Merle on Two Gray Men, did you have anything you based the voice off of? Um, that's a good question. That's, that's an interesting one because uh, that's the only role that I've actually um, pursued specifically. Typically, you know, you, you submit auditions for a bunch of different characters, and then they choose what they want you to play. Uh, but in that instance, uh, I, the deal was that I had to take Lobby in order to be Millennium Earl. Oddly enough, I know more people like Lobby, but I was more interested in Millennium Earl because I played so many young heroes at that point. So I just wanted to be a big, bad, evil dude. Uh, <laughs> but in answer to your question, I don't really know. Uh, there, are, there are elements of a couple of, uh, I don't really do impressions, but there are a couple of people that I, that I imitate occasionally. Um, one of them is Chris Christopherson from Blade Two, And so there's a little bit of him in there, but it's still deeper and more guttural. Um, in terms of the cadence of the speech, I'd say that probably Chris Christopherson's black hammer shit, that, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, thank you, that's a good question. Yes. I feel great because I'm working. Uh, well, uh, for me, my favorite stuff typically is uh, is when it gets intense. Uh, like I really dig doing the action stuff. I know there's not necessarily a lot of dialogue there, but I like it when the stakes are high. Um, and it kind of takes until that point, um, like a lot of the stuff I've worked on, you know, it starts and it's, there's not really anything at stake. And then suddenly there's some sort of conflict and it builds and it builds and it builds. And then that's, that's when I finally kind of get into it and figure out who that dude is. If that makes sense. Does that answer your question? Yeah? Yes, sir. Obviously you do a lot of uh, like the regular like, voice acting stuff. Yes, I do. Have you ever... Uh, gone like, in, like the extra mile and done like motion capture for any of your I movies? have, I have. Um, I, uh, I've only done that once. I did that for a video game. 
I'm trying to think of what it's called, uh, Black Site, Area 51. I'm the main bad boss in that. Uh, and, sorry, spoiler. Oh, nobody's going to play that game. <laughs> um, it's kind of a fun game to play, but ultimately pretty flawed. It was the last one that Midway released. Um, but yeah, mocap was fun. I did a week in Chicago at their big mocap facility before they went bankrupt. And, uh, and it paid, you know, as well as a movie would. I got to do things like being dragged around half eaten by aliens and, and wearing the suit with the balls. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah. We've got an hour, so I guess we may have to play a game. Hey, you again, sir. Would you mind the uh, line from Mordecai's voice? I mean, you know, fuck, man. I mean, he's just kind of like, you know, he's just, fuck, fuck that. I'm going to fucking play D&D. &D. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's kind of it, right? Yeah. yeah. They don't really give me voice references anymore. I just go in and kind of like, sometimes it's not even scripted. <laughs> and, and you, Madam, yes. Yes, um, out of all the roles that you have performed, was there one that actually, that any of them that you favored the most out of? Yes, absolutely. Uh, in, the, in the anime realm, um, I would say my, my most favorite would be the Black Reaper. Um, slash hey, yes. the black. Um, that I had a yen to play a bad guy, and, and he was interesting because he was a you know an anti-hero, uh, um, and, and it had two distinct voices, two distinct personalities. Uh, it was the closest I'll ever get to playing Batman. And so <laughs> I, uh, where is she? <laughs> I, I really, really dug playing that guy. And then you know he's super mild and. Um, Meek. Um, yeah, that's definitely the one. <laughs> Followed by a close second, Takizawa and Eden of the East. Oh, yeah. um, I know they're not very similar at all, but, but again, they're in the same vein of uh, a filmic acting style, like a very realistic, uh, um, there's nothing that's terribly cartoony about what I'm doing in either of those. And, and, and I do a lot of live action performance uh, you know, on stage and television and film, if I can get it. And I definitely, it's not that I prefer it. Um, voice acting is less stressful, honestly, because you know, really nobody's, I mean, some people are watching you, but it's not the same sort of thing. In any case, that's, that's definitely hey, followed by Takazawa. Yes, sir. Uh, so obviously you said like you like to do a lot of the uh, big bad guy roles and stuff like that, and you play heroes and stuff. Yeah. Um, overall, what would, would you say you're, um, you would prefer the most, like uh, over like archetypes in video games to play? I mean, honestly, I would probably pick the bad guys, but I've done a lot less of those. Um, I think just given the nature of the range of voice that I have, that. And the fact that I can sound younger than I am because I'm an old, old man. Um, I, you know, I, I don't get that opportunity often. So, like I said, with Millennium Earl, I literally approached the director of that at a con and said, I want this role. And like, kind of cornered him and put on my, my Black Reaper voice. And, uh, anyway, yeah. I'd like to be bad guys, but yeah, I'm, I'm not really a bad guy. I'm a papa. <laughs> Anybody else? I think we've got 50 more minutes. 5 0. Yes, sir, you in the back. I haven't heard from you yet. Is there anything specifically you wanted to do for you because of your kids? And, and then just sort of said, you know, yeah, can you do this? Or you know, my, my boy Sid has not really expressed that much of an interest yet. Um, I've tried to show him some of my stuff, but. He's, he's not really at the age yet uh, where he's getting it. Like I said, a lot of the stuff that I do is not really appropriate, even in the anime land. Uh, I have shown him some stuff that I did like way, way, way back in the very beginning, like Petite Princess Yuchi. Um, and he, he thought that was okay. Uh, that wasn't my favorite, but uh, I think mean, it was fun and it's weird. And um, I can't even remember the name of that weirdo. Um, and my apologies. But, but that's the answer. I, I, I can't wait until he starts pulling those DVDs off the shelves and he's like, what is this? Oh, oh, you should watch that one. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Um, this is a weird question. Oh, good, good. <laughs> I love weird questions. A lot of different voice actors say that in the booth, you know, strange things happen. That's true. So, <laughs> how hurt 
have you been in the booth? How hurt? Yeah. What do you mean, emotionally or physically? <laughs> <laughs> Neither one, but physically would be nice. <laughs> understand the way that it's set up, right? <laughs> There's like a microphone, and then you stand in front of it. Um, I mean, not, not to be a dick. No. Um, I, have, I have inadvertently hit myself in the face. Do you need something like that? <laughs> well, you know, you, you, you unconsciously move, uh, because, especially in the battle sequences, yeah. you know? Uh, sometimes you'll, you'll give a... Um, a noise for like, you know, you're, you're, you're giving a really big attack with a sword or something and you really need to vocalize it. And so you, you inadvertently, you know, you'll, you'll do what your character does and, and I have hit myself in the face. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, in, in the midst of that. True. Which I think is totally fine. It is. But emotionally I've been hurt as well. Yeah. Um, because you got to bring yourself to a certain place, especially if it's really you know, if it's really emotional and sad, you know, you want to be as real as you can, even if you're not seen. Or I do. I mean, I don't know what these other people are saying. Yeah. I'm, they're all my friends. I'm sure they're very good. Anyway, I am not answering your question anymore. Oh. Um, <laughs> is there you in the back, Mr. Staff? I have a weird question. Do you? I, I love weird questions. Will you sign my tits? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. wants this, you got to show me your ID first. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Nicely done. Thank you. All right, I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that sounded kind of creepy. <laughs> All right, um, anybody else have... Wow, that's amazing. It's like uh, inhaling some Freon. Um, <laughs> does anybody else have any questions? We've Wait, only got 48 more minutes. Uh, have I signed your leg? No, my tits. Your tits? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do, do you have an idea on you? Oh. <laughs> oh. I, you know I will. Oh, uh, okay. All right. That was kind of a tease. And that's cool. It matches a lot of my life. Yes, yes, you in the, the pink hair. Did my friend make it? I was wondering if we could, like, prank call him. Yes, sure. Oh, That is awesome. Now that we have all kinds of Yeah, right? Oh, my gosh. Can I record this? That's a great <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm already recording. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> recording the entire thing. This is gold. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I hope he answers. character was something from, you know, way, like I said, I'm really old. Uh, there was something from way, way, way back. 